All right, if we want to look at a population like Nigeria or a nation like Nigeria and with the global, changing global economy, um, of course, you know, skills will be on demand to escalate. And the new loan scheme, of course, provides for vocational skills, um, training, of course. Um, how do you think this will play out? Now, a student who think that they will just apply for a loan, they're going to give them money, but we're seeing vocational training and skills acquisition. Yes, this is one area that... Uh I would say we have actually moved to join the innovative pedagogy or innovative movement. Uh, yes, it's not everybody that can acquire uh, university education. So pe some people may have a trait, may have a skill that they want to build on upon. If you insist that everyone has to go to the university, then those with skills and other uh, vocational um, prowess would be losing out and that will not also support equity and fairness. Mm. So by allowing uh, or including skills acquisition as part of this uh, uh, student loan, uh, loan scheme, it's, uh, I would say to me it's, um, it's actually shows innovation and it gives room that we should have an inclusive system, not an exclusive system. Um, well, what might be the problem, I think, would be how to assess those who want to acquire the skills or those who already have the skills and want to actually upscale it. Mm. Uh, but for the students, because the universities will be there, the polytechnics will be there, the colleges of education will be there, it might be a bit easier to track those ones. But anyway, since the, um, the, the body is actually geared towards facing the challenges that are, that are challenges related to establishing and running such a scheme like a loan scheme or scholarships in Nigeria, I believe that uh, they would be able to make a breakthrough and things would be different from the way we have known them to be.